Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 uh, Mathematics and our topic for today is going to be cubes and cube roots. So we are going to focus on cubes today and we're going to look how we can be able to define what cube is and then later on we're going to see how we get cubes from the table and then we'll do a few questions along the way. So cubes are usually when you take a number and multiply by itself three times. For example, if you take an unknown number of A, if you multiply A by itself three times, you form the cube of A. Another example is like two. So if you take two, you multiply by two and multiply by two, you'll get a cube of two, which is the same as eight. If you take, for example, 3, you multiply by 3, you multiply by 3, you get the cube of 3, which is the same as 27. So this is the same as 3 times 3, which is 9, then 9 times 3, you get 27. If you take uh, the cube of 4, which is 4 times 4 times 4, which gives you six, uh, 4, cube of 4, which is 64. So this is 4 times 4, which is 16, then 16 times 4, which gives you 64. So that, that is a cube. So if you here, like look for the cube of a certain number, it means you take that number and multiply itself by three times. So let's take, for example, our value that you've been given here, which is 6 cubed. This is the same as 6 times 6 times 6. If you multiply 6 by 6, you get 36. If you multiply that 6 times 6, you get 216. Next, find the cube of 1.6. So this means that you're going to take 1.6, you multiply by 1.6, you multiply by 1.6. So this means it's 1.6 times 1.6 to give you 4 Point zero nine six. So basically, you are multiplying the number by itself three times. And if you take, for example, these unknown values, uh, when you look at the first one, it's a b cubed. So we are going to multiply a b by itself three times. So it is going to be a b times a b times a b, and then we put the light terms together, which is a times a times a and then b times b times b so this is the same as cube of a times cube of b which is a cubed b cubed when you look at xy it's the same as xy you multiply by xy you multiply by xy if you put the light terms together it becomes x times x times x then times y times y times y. This gives you x cubed times y cubed, which is the same as x cubed y cubed. Same case with this, it's 2b cubed. So you are going to multiply 2b three times. So it is 2b times 2b times 2b. We put the light terms together, that is the whole numbers and they are known together. The same as 2 times 2 times 2 times b times b times b which will give us 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 so it's 8 times these are 3 so b cubed which is the same as 8 b cubed so that's how we get the cube of specific numbers it can be known or unknown so cubes can also be derived from the mathematical tables and when we look at the cubes, we do so in the same manner we did with squares and square roots in form one. So this is the table that we are going to be using. You see it has different sections and we have these numbers ranging from zero to nine. This is the third decimal place, second decimal place, and then the third decimal place is where we add this section. So I'm going to explain to you in details how we use these sections of the of the mathematical table. So you go to the mathematical table where is written cubes. That is a table that we are going to be using for this session. So for example, if you look at the 
cube of 4.3 from the table. So we are going to go to where 4.3 is in the table, and this is where 4.3 is in the mathematical table. So 4.3, since the next number is 0, it means you're going to go down in this section written 0, and then our value is going to be 79.51. When we go to the second question, which is 2.23, this is this has more decimal places than the initial one. So we will start to go to the first 2.2. .2. So we are going to look for 2.2 .2 in this first section. When you get 2.2, .2, the next decimal place is 3. So in the middle section where we have 0 to 9, we are going to go to 3 and then go down to where 2.2 .2 is, which gives us 11.090. So our answer is going to be 11.09, 0. So if we look at more examples, you notice for this example, which is 3.254, we have three decimal places, which is different from what you had in the previous example. So in this case, you go to 3.2 first. So we we'll go 3.2 from the table. So you we'll go where 3.2 is. This is where 3.2 is. And then the first, the second decimal place is 5. So you go to this section between 0 and 9 where 5 and go down to where 3.2 is. So the first value we get is 34.328. And then now we do have another decimal place 4. So this you're going to get in this other section written add on your mathematical tables. So you go to point 0.4, so 4, you go to the section with 4 and go down with it up to 3.2 where it aligns with 3.2 and we get 126. So this 126, it misses three decimal places. So it is 0 0.126. It's not a whole number 126, it's a decimal. So this gives us 14, then 5, then 4, then 4. So our answer is 34.454. When you go to the second question is 0 0.54. You notice you can't get 0 0.54 on the mathematical table. So what you do, you have to convert this into a standard form. You do so by taking this decimal place here. If you do so, it becomes 5.4 but you multiply it by 10 power negative 1. This means this can be also be written as 5.4 divided by 10. This goes back to the original value. So the negative 1 means it's the fraction 1 over 10. That's where the negative 1 comes from. So remember, we are looking for cube, so we need to cube for all of them. Or you can also do this if that works for you. So it is 5.4 cube and then 10 cube divided by 10 cube so 5.4 cube we can get that from the table so we come here down here written 5.4.0 because that's the next decimal number so it becomes 157.46 so you write 157.46 and then when you cube 10 it becomes 1000 you just multiply 10 times 10 times 10. So there are three zeros becomes 1000. So 157.46 is being divided by 1000. So you remove these decimals by moving the, decim the decimal place. So when you cancel the first zero, the decimal place moves here. When you cancel the next one, the decimal place moves here. When you cancel the last, the decimal place moves here. So it becomes 0 0.15746. That is our answer. So let's do a few more examples. So you notice this is completely different also from what you have been working with. This is 1,653. We do not have 1,000 values in our, in, our, in our table. Our tables vary from 1, 1.0 to 9.9. 9 .9. So it's not possible for us to get this. So we have to convert it into a standard form. So one, 1,653, if we convert it into a standard form, it means that we have to introduce a decimal place here. So it means you can see we are moving our decimal places two times on the negative side. So it becomes 
five three then times ten power three this means if you take one point six five three multiplied by one thousand you will get your one thousand six hundred and fifty three so we do so as we did before you cube this value the standard value so it gives you one point six five three cubed times ten power three cubed so 1.653 we can get this from the table the cube so you go where 1.6 is 1.6 is here and then you go to the section where 5 is 1.65 is here which gives you 4.492 and then we have the third decimal place which is 3 so we'll come to the uh, section with the add column the add uh, numbers so you go up to where 3 is, and then you go down up to where 1.6 is. This gives us 24, as you can see. So this is the same as 0 0.024. Remember, it's not a whole number. This gives us, this is 6, this is 11, 5. 4.516. So 4.516 is multiplied by 10 power 9. Power 9 because 3 times 3 is 9. Or if you multiply 1000 3 times, you're going to get 1000 times this time, you're going to get 100 million. So it's 4.516. So we move the first three decimal places by moving this, the, the decimal, one, two, three. So we are left with 4,516, 4, then times 10, power three, power six. Because initially we have removed the first three zeros by moving the decimal. So this is our final answer. You can go ahead and put the zeros if you want. These are not there. So it's supposed to be 4 trillion 515 million. Finally, we have 5.3679. So you'll notice that this value has decimals that are more than three decimals or um, three decimal places. And we said we can only get our values on the table which have up to three decimal places. So it means we need to get rid of the fourth decimal place. So we do so by rounding off. And since the fourth decimal place here is nine, it means that it's more than five. So we need to round off nine to a whole number. So when we round off, you are going to add one to the seven. So it becomes 5.368. So this 5.368 is one that you're going to check from our table. So you go to 5.3 where 5.3 is, and then six on the second uh, section, which is 153.99. And then finally, the third decimal, you get to the other section written add on 8, which gives us 69. So it becomes 0 0.69. So this is 18, and then 16, and then 4, 5, 1. So this gives us 154.68. Uh, check out the other lessons also on cubes and cube roots as we proceed. And also you can look out for more revision notes and questions, revision questions in our app. You can go and download and check out more questions. See you in the next lesson.